Hey traders, good morning. It's Jeff with Simply Derivative, and here's the pre-market prep. Uh, we're taking a look at the ES on the 60-minute and the 240-minute. Uh, you can see we're up again, uh, fourth day in a row, uh, up 15 in the morning in the pre-market. I have about 45 minutes until the U.S. market opens. You can see that we're hitting um, some resistance up here at this 2760 area. Uh, you can see that on the 240, uh, there was a gap down, a rally up, and then this is where prices broke down, attempted to rally back up, couldn't get up into this area, and fell further. And so this is really the first time we're actually up above this 2755 area, above this wick right here, into this breakdown point, which was really the base of this first uh low if you will in this bigger down move um, and now we simply came back up to that we've rallied about five five and a half percent since since the lows on Monday and uh, done nothing but gone straight up it was very volatile October and the markets were down um, over 10 percent uh, so it was a decent sized pullback and now um, we've had somewhat of a bounce uh, but Apple came out with their earnings yesterday they were down uh, this morning. Uh, let's take a look and see where they're at. So on the extended. Okay, so it's still, Apple's still trading at the lows, or close to the lows in the after hour session at 207. They closed at 222 before earnings. So uh, all the major markets are pulling down right now. Uh, NASDAQ is the only one that's negative, um, but we're noticing since we're pretty close to the 200-day moving average and the 50-day weekly moving average. Uh, combine that with this uh, zone on the 240, um, it looks like we want to break down a little bit further um, and maybe retest the overnight lows today. So that's kind of what we're looking for. If we get firmly above this 27.72, uh, we're, we're probably going to hold and, and go higher, uh, getting above these moving averages. Uh, but uh, the chart pattern that we're focused on is this one right here, uh, where it's an expanding range. Typically, this is a reversal. You combine that again with this area over here on, up in the 2760 area, and uh, we have a pretty good opportunity for a short. So, target would be back below. Uh, 2745 and then 2760 2685 really uh, 2690 be a second target um, I know that seems far away but you know the, the markets have been moving and uh, the volatility both realized and implied is still uh, on the high side so definitely not out of the realm of possibilities but uh, yeah that's what we got going on this morning um, that's it guys we may be doing a live stream here today so stay tuned for that and um, join us as we trade in the e-minis uh, on this friday take care